Hey guys, I'm Tyler with AR500 Armor and today we are back in our test range to show you a new product. You guys asked for it and we've listened. This is a three plus lightweight rifle plate for the new Phoenix Armor backpack, which I have on me now with the rifle plate. This is built in when you choose the rifle rated three plus lightweight armored option into the backpack. Now, most threats are still with handguns, uh, but we understand that rifles are becoming a more relevant thing and they are a lot more uh, relevant in today's media. They get a lot more exposure. So some of you might want to have a rifle rated option. What's nice about our three plus lightweight rifle plate insert in the Phoenix is how it's mounted and where the ride height is. The total weight of the backpack is eight and a half pounds, but when it's mounted up high and close to your body, it feels like nothing more than a thin book. It's very manageable and doesn't feel nearly as heavy as the 8.5 pounds that it is. When you purchase the Phoenix Armor backpack and you choose the three plus lightweight rifle plate, what you're gaining is rifle threat protection from the most common rounds. It's going to accommodate AR-15s, AK-47s, and 308 battle rifles. Uh, for 5.56, it'll defeat M193 and M855 penetrators at uh, 3,000 feet per second, and 308 up to 2850 feet per second. So today we have brought out a Colt AR-15, pretty standard configuration with a 16 inch barrel. And we're gonna use 5.56 M855 green tip penetrators on target on the Phoenix Hummer backpack with our three plus lightweight rifle plate to see how it does at about eight feet. Three rounds, 5.56 M855 penetrators out of a Colt AR-15 at about six feet from muzzle to the Phoenix Hummer backpack. So let's take a look at what happened. The Phoenix Armored Backpack with our three plus lightweight rifle rated armor versus three rounds of 5.56 M855 penetrators. Uh, looks like we have three rounds, first entry hole, second and third right through the zipper. Let's take a look at our ballistic gelatin, no penetration. And then let's take the backpack off. So you can see the backside. Almost no deformation on the back, and the backpack is still in good shape. And the front of our ballistics gel torso uh, is also still in great shape. So you saw three rounds at about six feet from the muzzle of M855 on the Phoenix Armor backpack with our rifle, three plus lightweight plate installed. Let's step it up to M193 and see how the backpack fares also at six feet. So we have our Colt AR-15 here and three rounds of 5.56 M193 ball loaded up. Now we are at about six feet from muzzle to target. This does exceed the rating a little bit of the backpack likely at this distance. It's rated to 3,000 feet per second. So do understand that this test does exceed the rating of the armor of what it's designed to defeat. Let's go take a look. Remember, that was those 5.56 M193 rounds were probably traveling well over 3,000 feet per second. The three plus lightweight armor insert is rated up to 3,000 feet per second for the 5.56 round. So, I just did quick succession. You can see some of the smoke caught in the bag there. Let's see what the back of the backpack looks like. Still in great shape. Also, the front of our ballistics gelatin, uh, completely unscathed. Six rounds total out of the AR-15, three M855 penetrator, three M193 ball, two of the most common type rounds you can buy. Both are available at Walmart. Six rounds center mass on the Phoenix Armored Backpack, no penetration. Do note the M193 again exceeds the velocity limit at this distance of our three plus lightweight armor, which is 3,000 feet per second from 5.56 five, rounds fired out of an AR-15. Thank you guys very much supporting us uh, as a business. We can't say thank you enough. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to help get the word out there. Your feedback, your feedback has been tremendously valuable, which is why we uh, came out with the rifle rated version of the Phoenix based on uh, feedback from you guys. So thank you again. We're here to give you guys the products you want, and we can't say thank you enough for your support.